Nine years ago, by the way, Saints travelled here more in hope than expectation, perhaps a little bit like tonight. Humbled at the Gardens, they pulled off a one-point win against all odds. And you can be sure they'll be turbocharged this evening. McCluskey takes the contact and feeds Lowry. Saints left over the, the top of it, but Good position, instructed to remove themselves. Here's Marty Moore exploiting a little hole. Quick ball for Cooney, too. Great start this from Ulster for Mullen. Bundled. Big shot coming in from Ludlam. Slightly slower possession this time for the home side. McCluskey looking for some wit. His Hume, so good last week, and immediately the step and the fend, and he's on his way. And he's kept the ball alive beautifully as well. McCluskey again, already that centre partnership bearing fruit for Ulster. O'Connor buffeted in the tackle by Wood. Lung busting first passage of play here as they look to pile through the middle and Heron! A blistering start from the home side. And they've had a fantastic start again, Brian. Well, three offloads, you know, two from McCluskey, one from. Only four or five years ago, but now teams are much more gutsy and back in their line out of their line out attack. Alan O'Connor secures that all important line out possession, and Herring is well set. Ulster just inching their way forwards a little slowly at the moment for their liking. Looks like Tom Wood has found a way through the middle. Cooney. Couldn't quite work the magic down the short side. Now then. I think you'll have a look at this one. Yeah, so close to the try line as well. Oh. You see, he's in a good, really good position to actually take it. He See, for me, that, that's not as bad a one as, as lots you'll see because it, he can get. So my gut feeling was right. Was it delivered or not? No attempt to together. He's your last man, so we'll be proud to try and work out against him. Double trouble for Northampton. Furbank. He's having to multitask, isn't he, tonight? Normally a fullback, playing at 10, now installed at 9. Tony Yarawa. A little bit of support from his captain Ludlam. Tuala. Once again, Lowry comes across. And he'll be sizing up that 50 22 again, I suspect. And he's measured it nicely, but backfield is well covered by Furbank. He's managed to split those defenders as well. This is Hume. Good pace. And a nice little chip, and it's fallen beautifully as well. Oh, lovely step from McElroy. He's done scores and all ends up. McElroy. Rolls, scores. Brilliant from the youngster. Set up by Hume. And finished in dramatic style. James Hume, the provider this time. Yeah, he's just having so many involvements, isn't he? He's expecting to get the one-two, but it's that elusive footwork of McElroy gives the defender the eyes and then has the power to be able to get himself across. Little look, show of the ball and the acceleration. Another. As John Andrew takes aim, Tom O'Toole on for Marty Moore as well. Looking for a bonus point try. Played in the air, so playing with an advantage here, Ulster. Cooney, Burns, crossfield looking to find Gilroy. Oh, Tuala's lost it. Gilroy has it. Bonus point in the bag. Something of a howler from the Northampton fullback. And Craig Gilroy notches their fourth. Northampton have kind of shot themselves in the foot. It was obviously penalty advantage. A relatively mixed kick from Billy Burns, to be honest. The sort of one that Tuala would ordinarily take. 10 times out of 10, but he had time and effort. He just misjudged. I don't know whether he caught sight of the floodlights, but he took it above his head when he didn't necessarily need to do so. Mistimed it. Yeah, looks uncomfortable. 
Apologies for any bad language you may have picked up on the hour mark. Ulster 27, Northampton 12. Fish finding oh. ribbons and Northampton searching for a score. Dingwall coming clattering through. Laws restored to the lineup today. And searching for that extra meter or so. Here's Mitchell dragging in the defenders and scuttling forwards. Mitchell's try, and still the Saints refuse to be shaken off. Ball carriers, he darts down blindside. There's no one interfered with there, so it's hard to argue the point. John Andrew gathers it in, and here is Timoney. No hands! Turnover ball yet again, Mitchell onto it, throws the dummy, needs to link, needs to link, finds Furbank, finds Skosan, Skosan! Still life in Northampton yet, leaving it very, very late indeed, and Cornell Skosan is wearing it for the team tonight. Mitchell, his pace is so good, you know, he's so explosive, great pace, there was a couple of dummies, beats a defender, Great quick hands from Furbank just to give the wing of the ball in space. Fish, Furbank, Laws, nice change of direction. And the penalty though goes Ulster's way. Which, oh, there will be no penalty. And Saints, importantly, as a consequence, will bank that losing bonus point. They could have taken it out of reach chose to drive it into the stands and Ulster celebrate their second win in Europe. Two from two, flying into 2022. Claremont last week, Northampton this, and Ulster in prime position for an assault on the knockout stages. Full-time at the Kingspan, Ulster 27, Northampton 22.